Yo, what is going on, guys? Uh, today is July 2nd, 2019. Uh, I woke up this morning, and I actually was very surprised and shocked to see the results of the 2060 Super and the 2070 Super. Uh, so what I want to do this morning is I looked at all the reviews and stuff like that, and I would honestly tell you that out of all of them, I still prefer Guru3D.com. Excuse me for one second. <coughs> Excuse me. I had a lot of sneezing this morning. Um, but yeah, so we're going to jump right into it. We're actually going to take a look at some of the results that uh, Guru3D had uh, with the 2060 Super and the 2070. Now, keep in mind, these are the reference design models. Uh, these are not uh, any aftermarket or anything like that. Uh, it's been a really odd year uh, for video cards because AMD really hasn't answered back yet for NVIDIA. And then NVIDIA comes back with, well, AMD announces their new lineup and then a NVIDIA is just like, you know what? We got supers coming out that are better performance, less in price, um, or better in price uh, pretty much. So the way it's looking like here though, is the RTX 2060 Super gets a nice increase to 8 gigs of VRAM, which is phenomenal. I mean, 8 gigs of VRAM is a, is a really nice spot. Uh, and it actually goes to 2176 uh, CUDA cores, which used to be 1920, or they call it shader processors uh, for the Super version. Uh, so it jumps up pretty good in that. Uh, also, the reference clock as well for the 2060 goes up uh, to, well, the reference was 1650. Uh, and that also went up as well. So there's been a lot of increases uh, overall uh, with the with the actual new lineup. So I'm actually really surprised for all the stuff that they actually did. Uh, so the 2060, uh, the Founders Edition, uh, Super is priced at $399, which there was a lot of speculation going around. People were saying that it was going to be priced higher. Some people were saying it was priced lower, this and that. So the other day I, I tweeted out, so you know what? Let's not even let's just forget about the pricing because it's just all over the place right now. But uh, we now have officials numbers of the pricing, and it's priced extremely well, especially after you see the results it's pushing out. So it did go up fifty dollars from the normal twenty sixty. So another fifty bucks, you get quite a bit of performance. Uh, let's go to the twenty seventy super now. Twenty seventy super as well uh, jumped up from uh, twenty three oh four uh, shade and processing units to twenty five sixty. So that's a pretty nice jump as well. Uh, it still has the eight gigs of VRAM. On there as well so that's still the same uh but the actual difference that i'm actually really surprised about too is that not only did that go up as well but the boost clock went up as well uh and the price point didn't change it's still 499 which is awesome so 499 you get better performance from the super versus a standard 2070 which i don't know what they're going to do with the 2070 lineup or the 2060 uh, especially that the 2070 is priced at 499. Uh, so we'll kind of see what what happens there. It's kind of curious. I'm not sure if they're gonna keep them on board or if they're just gonna take them away completely. So let's the 2080 Super is not out yet, so there's no real information on there. But uh, wait, well it's not being reviewed today, but we actually have details. So it's being released the 23rd of July. Uh, it is jumping up uh, quite a bit in performance as well, and the price tag is gonna be priced at 699. So same as the standard 2080. Uh, but again, it's jumping up in performance quite a bit. But let's jump right into the performance here. Let's go to Battlefield 5, for example. And let's let's do this. Hold on. So you guys can see this better. So this is where the numbers get pretty crazy. And this is where I was actually like, okay. Okay. I, I see it. I see it. So Battlefield 5 at 1920 by 1080. Uh, you can see the numbers here. The 2070 right here. That's the standard 2070, averaged 114 FPS. So that's the first generation, we can say, 2070. Average 114. A 2060 Super is averaging 117. So it's actually outperforming the first generation 2070. Uh, and a standard 2060 from first generation is 103 versus 117. So that's a pretty big jump. Uh, and right above the 2060 Super, you can see, is the GTX 1080 Ti. Like, holy crap. That's insane. Uh, then above that, you see the Titan XP. Then above that, you see the 2070 Super. So the 2070 Super went from 114 FPS to 129, uh, which is amazing. And the 2080 
from the first generation is literally two frames faster than the 2070 Super, but the price point is only $499 instead of $699. That is amazing. Uh, so let's scroll down here. Let's go to higher resolution, 1440p, same thing, same results. We see it's right behind the 2080. The 2060 Super is right behind a 1080 Ti. Uh, 4K, same thing. Uh, actually, 4K kind of lines up a little bit more. The 2060 Super is right on par with the 2070. Uh, and the 2070 Super is outperforming a 1080 Ti. So now the 2070 is just completely demolishing 1080 Ti's. So you should see 1080 Ti's in the market now extremely cheap. Uh, you could probably find them on Craigslist now for like 300 bucks or something, or 350 or 400, because it's, it's a pretty big difference now. Um, let's go over to Destiny 2. Because I know a lot of people play the Destiny 2. So let's go here. So Destiny 2, 1920 by 1080. As you can see, you got the 2080 Ti up top, 156 FPS. Then you have the 2080, which is 154. Then you have the 2070 Super. The price value, if you're playing Destiny 2, a 2070 Super averages 149 FPS. And it's only 7 FPS off a of 2080 Ti for Destiny 2. That is insane. That is amazing. Uh, then you have the 2060 Super, which is only, it's averaging 141 when it used to average 123 with the old generation. So once again, we're seeing some nice increases in performance here. Amazing, amazing. So right behind the 1080 Ti, literally 4 FPS off the 1080 Ti. As you go up higher in resolution, same thing. Uh, you actually will start noticing that the 1080 Ti and the Titan XP are going to be doing a little bit better because the higher resolution you go, um, you can actually start pushing out more VRAM. You're going to need more, I mean, just overall raw performance. And that's where the 2016, 2070 still kind of start going down. These cards are not designed for 4K gaming by, by no means, by the way. This is still almost your entry level 1080p gaming uh, aspect, especially if you're looking for 144. Um, let's go to uh, Far Cry New Dawn, which is actually another pretty GPU intense game. Uh, this is an interesting as well. Uh, so you have a. Titan XP, 127, 20 Ti, 126, 2070 Super, 125. This is, you can kind of see where it's kind of all even up top. It's pretty close. <laughs> Same thing for higher resolution. The 2080 Ti starts pulling up ahead. And then 2080 Ti just kind of demolishes everything at 4K, 79, and everything else is, yeah, you can kind of see the daggers there. Uh, the reason for that is because 2080 Ti is just the raw performance that it has. The, I mean, it's just, it's just a nasty card overall. Uh, let's take a look at, uh, Time Spy, actually. 3 Mark Time Spy is a synthetic benchmark, uh, which a lot of companies use, but this is pretty interesting here. So you see the 2060 Super, 8,818, uh, while a 2070 from the first generation, 8,508, and a 2060 was 7,595. Uh, pretty close, uh, as far as it actually outperforms the, it's pretty close to the new Radeon. Uh, that came out back in February, which I haven't heard about that card at all. That card's kind of just been dead. Uh, then you have, so you see the 1080 Ti, you see Titan X Pascal, then you see Titan X P, and then you see the 2070 Super just outperforming all those cards. So once again, you're looking at the 2070 Super, which is priced at $499. So $500, this is outperforming the last generation uh Titan XP and the 1080 Ti from last generation, which those cards were upwards of $1,200. That's crazy. Like that is, that is phenomenal. That's some, that is some amazing price per performance. Uh, that, that, I think the 2070 Super is going to be one of the best selling cards uh, with the 2060, like hands down for the performance you're getting. It, it's, it's pretty unbelievable. As you can see, I'm kind of fangirling right now. It, it's, it's insane. Uh, 2060 super, uh, overclocking, they were able to achieve, uh, so standard reference to 1650 boost, uh, they were able to achieve, holy dear, oh my gosh, they were able to achieve on the core two gigahertz on the core. So they jumped up from 1650 megahertz to 2025 megahertz. That is a big, big jump in performance. Um, Performance is, wow. Look, look, look at this. So, Witcher 3 jumped up about 7%, 13% on Strange, Mankind 8%, 9%. Average difference is about a 9% difference. Uh, let me see here. So, let's go to Time Spy. Time Spy overclocked. 
with a 2060 60 Super, it passed the 1080Ti. Like, wow. So on Time Spy, it passed the 1080Ti with the, uh, with the OC. Yeah, it, this, this card's 9,581 in Time Spy. Dang. All right, now I'm kind of scared. Let's see what the 2070 could overclock to. Let's see here. Oh, gosh. Uh, uh, oh, so 1770 megahertz to 2050 megahertz on the core. Uh, memory clock jumped up from 14,000 megahertz to 16. Uh, let's take a look at some performance charts. And yeah, it passed the 2080. Of course it would. So the 2070 Super overclocked surpasses the 2080. Priced at 499. 10,733 on Time Spy. That is uh that is phenomenal. That is just insane. So taking a look at this, we see that the newer the new NVIDIA cards that came out are just superb. For three ninety nine and four ninety nine, you're getting some amazing, amazing performance. Uh, once again, AMD hasn't released their new 5700 lineup, 57XT or whatever it is. Uh, and they were comparing it to the last, the first generation 2070, saying that it was going to outperform that. And it was showing the price points at around 450. Um, you'd have to reevaluate a little bit there, AMD. They're probably in the office going crazy trying to figure out what to do. But uh, once again, the 2070... Super and the 2060 Super are amazing choices, guys. For the price, you can't beat it. Uh, as of right now, you can't beat it. So definitely highly recommended. Uh, if, you do, or if you're in the market to build a new computer or get a new GPU, uh, definitely that would be the way to go. But that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a like. Make sure to subscribe. I got a lot, lot more things to come. Uh, and we got to do a few more PC builds today. So we got to get things going. But also, see you in Florida. Garden Con, be there in two days. Be there Thursday, July 4th weekend. Make sure to pick up some tickets. Guardian Khan, just Google it. You'll find it. It's a bunch of stuff there. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Peace.